Evening meditation, fifth week after Pentecost, visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, July 2nd, 2021. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, first choice as teacher in moral theology, act of faith in the presence of God, in nomen patria fili, espiritu sancti, amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being humiliated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being despised. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of suffering rebukes. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being culminated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be, in that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. <clears throat> that others may become holier than I, provide that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask your guidance. In this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin, Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus, Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Penobis peccatoribus, Nukunihor mortis nostri. Amen. <clears throat> Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation, the practice of the love of Jesus Christ. Charity beareth all things. He that loves Jesus Christ bears all things for him, and especially illness, poverty, and contempt. <clears throat> this love of poverty should be especially practiced <clears throat> by religious who have made the vow of poverty. Quote, Many religious, says the great St. Bernard, wish to be poor, but on the condition of wanting for nothing. Unquote. Thus, says St. Francis de Sales, they wish for the honor of poverty, but not the inconveniences of poverty. To such persons is applicable the saying of Blessed Salomea, a nun of St. Clair, quote, that religious will be a laughingstock to angels and to men who pretends to be poor and yet murmurs when in want of anything. <clears throat> Unquote. Good religious act differently. They love their poverty above all riches. The daughter of the Emperor Maximilian II, a discalcate nun of St. Clair, called Sister Margaret of the Cross, appeared on one occasion before her brother, the Archduke Albert, in a patched habit, 
He evinced some astonishment at it, as if it were unbecoming her noble birth. And she made him this, this answer, quote, My brother, I am more content with this torn garment than all monarchs with their purple robes, unquote. St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi said, quote, O happy religious who detached from all by means of holy poverty can say, quote, The Lord is the portion of my inheritance, unquote. My God, thou art my portion and all my good. St. Teresa, having received a large alms from a certain merchant, sent him word that his name was written in the Book of Life, and that, in token of this, he should lose all his possessions. And the merchant actually failed and remained in poverty till death. St. Aloysius Gonzaga said that there could be no sure sign of a person's being numbered among the elect than to see him fearing God and, at the same time, undergoing crosses and tribulations in this life. The bereavement of relations and friends by death belongs also, in some measure, to holy poverty. And in this we must especially practice patience. Some people at the loss of a parent or a friend can find no rest. They shut themselves up to weep in their chamber and giving free vent to their sorrow become insupportable to all around them by their want of patience. I would ask these persons, for whose gratification or for whose sake do they thus lament and shed tears? Is it for God's? Certainly not. For God's will is that they should be resigned to his dispensations. For that of the soul departed, by no means. If the soul be lost, she abhors both you and your tears. If she be saved and already in heaven, she would want to have you thank God on her part. If still in purgatory, she craves the help of your prayers and wishes you to bow with resignation to the divine will and to become a saint in order that she may one day enjoy your society in paradise. Of what use, then, is all this weeping? On one occasion, the venerable father Joseph Caracciola, the Theatine, was surrounded by his relations, who were all bitterly lamenting the death of his brother. Whereupon he said to them, Come, come! Let us keep these tears for a better purpose, to weep over the death of Jesus Christ, who has been to us a father, a brother, a spouse, and who died for love of us. Unquote. On such occasions, we must imitate Job, who, on hearing the news of the death of his sons, exclaimed with full resignation to the divine will, quote, The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Unquote. God gave me my sons, and God hath taken them away. Quote, As it hath pleaseth the Lord, so is it done. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It hath pleased God that such things should happen, and so it pleaseth me. Wherefore, may he be blessed by me forever. Job 1.21 Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, try and God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and rule of life now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. Why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and grateful as I have been, even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomina patri, et fili, Espir 
Sancti. Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.